coming, so I thought I'd get in early with some winter travel inspo. A trip to Shenyang. I'm about to get on my train here. For me, luckily enough, it's actually just a day trip. It's about an hour train ride away. But for most of you watching this video, the travel time will be significantly longer because Shenyang is located right in the northeast of China. It's actually the capital city of Liaoning, which is one of the three provinces that makes up Dongbei. And one of the things the region of Dongbei is very famous for is being very, very cold in winter. I mean, last winter, I remember here in Chongchun, it got down to minus 25, coldest temperatures of my life. But uh, you know, you may be watching this video being like, what's in it for me? Why would I travel all the way to Dongbei just to freeze my butt off? Well, yes, it does get very, very cold here, but there are many perks. And today I'm gonna be exploring just one of those perks, the bathing culture. I'm gonna be going to a Shenyang bathhouse. So there's a general separation between the bathing culture in the north and south of China. In the south, people look to Yangzhou as the bathing capital, but here in the north, people look to Shenyang. So that's why I'm making the special trip here today. Here in Shenyang, you'll find thousands of bathhouses from big to small, old to new, traditional to modern. But today I've chosen this one here. It's called Yunzhisi Cloud Stream not an ad by the way. The reason I decided to come here is, well, here in Shenyang, a lot of the biggest, most reviewed, most famous bathhouses, they're also on the older side because they've been around for longer and their aesthetic is not quite to my taste. And since I've come here to relax, I want somewhere that I like the look of, I like the vibe of. And the photos I saw online of this place are really, really cute. So tick there. And the second thing I was looking for, funnily enough, in a bathhouse was a buffet. So you guys know me, even though I'm here to look at bathhouses, of course, this is gonna become a food adventure. Anyway, Let's go in and check it out, get this bathhouse experience started. So one thing you need to know about these new age bathhouses is service is everything. And that experience starts the moment you walk through the door. Ooh. Oh. Hey, how you? Oh, wow, this here. Okay, so first things first, gonna come over here and take off our shoes. No shoes allowed inside. So you get a little thing on your shoe put on another pair of shoes. Your shoes are collected and stored and you can pick them up right at the end when you're ready to go. So I have officially arrived. I'm here in the lobby area, very nice vibe. Happy with my choice here. And uh, I've already given in my shoes. I have these little slippers here. Also got my little bracelet, which is my locker number, but also any expenses I incur inside, anything I eat, any massages or services I wanna do, basically go into this bracelet and then you pay at the end. Now, next step is going in this door. This is the, the door for the ladies. And over here, we have the door for the men. Uh, it's separated because the next step, there's a lot more nakedness involved. So I cannot take you along for this part. I have to shut off my camera here. But basically what's gonna happen is I go into this next section to get clean, have a shower, do your hair, clean everything, so that you can get to the leisure section on the other side. And that's where the fun really starts. But first you gotta get clean. And here in Dongbei, a big part of this getting clean process involves aggressively scrubbing your body from head to toe in a process known as tuozao. Uh, as I mentioned, there are differences between bathing culture in the north and the south. And here in the north, because of the climate, it's very dry, very cold. That really affects the skin. It gets very dry and flaky. So this process of tuozao is basically getting rid of all the dry skin. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be experiencing today for the first time, I might add. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because I hear it's, uh, it's quite intense. So yeah, I'm gonna shut this off, but uh, don't worry. I'm going to explain to you in excruciating detail on the other side of what I've just experienced. Wow, amazing. That was so amazing. That was lush, it was so relaxing. It was the best. How have I waited so long to do this? I don't even know, but everyone has to do it. Everyone has to try it. And I'm gonna run you through what you can expect. Especially I want this guide to be for foreigners because it isn't exactly foreigner friendly. Like there are so many options coming at you. There are so many things you can choose from. So I'm gonna step you through what to do once you enter that room. So basically you go inside and you immediately enter the locker room. It's really a beautiful aesthetic. I chose this place very well. I mean, you can see this behind me here. It's the vibe. Anyway, the change room was also the vibe. It was very, very beautiful. You put your stuff in your locker. From that point onwards, you are naked. Everyone is naked and it's very, very normal and it's very, very nice just to, you know, relax in your own human body. Then you get yourself to the shower. Once you enter the main like room of this cleaning area, there are a billion showers. There's this beautiful pool in the middle of the area. I'll see if I can find some photos online because this place was just gorgeous. Anyway, you can have a shower. Um, I would suggest if you're a foreigner to learn the words for shampoo, conditioner and body wash before you arrive because there is no English on the bottles and it may be hard to distinguish between them. Anyway, you have your shower, you do your hair, 
and then you go to the area where the scrubbing will happen, the towards our area. You basically scan your little bracelet here and it'll put you in a line um, of people. I'm here on a weekday, so there really aren't so many people, so I didn't even have to wait. Um, then you enter this area where there's like 50 massage tables. Well, they're not actually massage tables, but they're just like beds everywhere. Hardly any of them were occupied. I was one of maybe five or six customers at the time. They lead you to the bed. You're naked, you're always naked. And then you lie down on the bed and um, the bed is heated. That was my first impression. I love this, the bed is heated. They bring you like a, a heat pack for put behind your head, a heat pack for your belly. They put little hot towels on your feet. It's just amazing, really well thought out. And one other thing I forgot to mention, once I was like settled in and comfy on my table here, she asked me if I'm allergic to cucumber. And I'm like, well, no, like what's this about? And uh, yeah, at which point she just pulls out a cucumber from underneath the table <laughs> and she grates me a long thin piece of cucumber to actually put on my eyes like they do in the movies. I mean, it was incredible. And then the first thing that comes at you is choosing what you would like to be scrubbed with. So it seems that the go-to option, like the normal option is red wine. <laughs> so they'll scrub you with red wine. But since this is my first time being scrubbed, she suggested I go for milk because it's a bit softer on the body. So she started drizzling me with hot milk, <laughs> which felt very nice. And then she started scrubbing and the scrubbing wasn't painful. It was very gentle. And I found myself just completely drifting off. It was so relaxing. Um, she first did my front, then my side, then my other side, then my back. She scrubbed everywhere, between my toes, between other places. But you know, I'm sure you can use your imagination. I definitely got upsold and I have no regrets. She told me while she was scrubbing me that I could add another, I think it was 50 renminbi to get another half an hour of massage. And for the massage, it was also another, a whole lot of options that you can choose from in terms of what they massage you with. I mean, this place is like half massage parlor, half scrubbing, half juice bar. And I'm not even kidding. In the middle of the room, they had this like smoothie aisle where they have these blenders going at it with all these different ingredients because you can get massage with, and this is not the full list. This is all I can remember. Mu gua was one of them. I think that's papaya, uh, banana, um, avocado, coconut, Man, there were so many more that she said, but I went for avocado because yum. Uh, so she went to the blender, she mixed up my avocado smoothie, and then she came over and she just basically poured it over me, gave me the most amazing massage. She did my hair, she did my scalp, she massaged something else into there. And yeah, basically I have come out of that room another person, quite literally. I mean, my dead skin is all over the floor, but I do feel like it would be a little bit confusing for a foreigner who doesn't speak Chinese because there's just, you know, they're giving you the options of what kind of massages you can add onto your package, what you can be massaged with. Like, do you want to add 10 renminbi for this? And oh, if you add five renminbi, you can get a foot mask, which I did, by the way. Um, lovely, my feet are so soft right now. Um, but I did ask the lady in there what to do if there's a foreigner who can't speak Chinese. And she said, even though you're not allowed to bring your phones out of the locker with you in that section, if you're a foreigner that really can't communicate, you can bring your phone with you and use your translation apps to communicate with your masseuse, your scrubber, and um, that way you can communicate. But yeah, I would definitely recommend you give it a go. It, it may be a little bit intimidating for your first time, but trust me, it is worth it. And afterwards, after you're all scrubbed, you're clean, you're moisturized, you're washed, you can go and eat. I am just in front of the buffet. It's just behind me here. So let's go in and see what kind of yummy foods they have. Let's do this. Hey, hello. You want to Okay. So the price is 139 for one person buffet. And uh, here is the buffet. Ooh, how beautiful is this? We have oysters, mussels, something else prawns ooh sashimi oh we got all the seafood here abalone and some rice as well oh my gosh i think that's something with cheese i mean check this place out it's absolutely massive and it's got a bit of everything a juice bar a barbecue selection with various meats you've got dishes dim sum, even pizzas. If you're feeling like you want to eat healthy though, you've got a fruit and salad bar, but also a selection of not so healthy desserts as well. And speaking of clogged arteries, I present to you the fried food aisle. Oh, and who can forget self-service ice cream. Ooh, we even have a dumpling bar. Look at this. 
Now over here we have the drinks fridge. All drinks are included. So over here we have the soft drinks, iced teas and waters. And what I really love is they've separated into Chongwenda, which is like room temperature and Bingda, which is cold. So you can know which one to go for. I will definitely be going for the cold one. And over here we have beers. And here they only have one option for temperature, which is of course cold. Thank you very much. <gasps> oh my goodness. They even have roast duck. So first stop on this buffet food adventure in a bathhouse, I'm gonna get him to cut me some roast duck because why not? Add a little bit of spring onion. Oh, a bit of hoisin sauce. There we go. See ya. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Gonna go in for the ultimate bite of duck. Get some spring onion, get some skin, get some meat, and I'm gonna dip it in the hoisin sauce. But yeah, obviously this is the very beginning. After finishing my duck, I went back to the buffet to start collecting themed plates of food. First up, our cold starters, featuring sushi and fresh veggies with a typical Dongbei style dipping sauce. Next, an assorted cooked seafood plate featuring xiaolongxia, shuizhou yu, and crab. And last but not least, one of those classic miscellaneous buffet plates featuring a selection of foods that in no way relate or go together, but just need a place to go. And this is the plate for that. And there we have it, my first course. I am feeling like an absolute queen. I feel like I've come to this center where everything and everyone is here to cater to me. There is so much variety in terms of the food there. There's really something for everyone. I mean, there's a guy here who just has a, a table. He's coming by himself and he's got a table full of xiaolongxia. He's not eating anything else. So literally, whatever you feel like, just grab. I myself have gone for a little bit of everything. I have really everything represented on my table here. But I'm not done. So they are here making some jiaozi fresh. Can you for jiaozi? So I noticed they were making some freshly made dumplings over here. So I am getting myself a serve. There's nothing better than a freshly made dumpling. And what's the best thing to do after you've just eaten a big meal? Have a lie down, of course. And here they've got you covered. Right next to the buffet, they have heaps of these sleeping relaxation pods. Welcome to my I feel like they've really thought everything out here. I mean, I've come up from having the scrub, I've had my lunch, and all I feel like doing is just lying down. And just outside the restaurant, you have all these like lying places, places you can lie down, places you can read, places you can sleep, places you can sit places you can chat. It's basically like a theme park for chilling and everything down to these flickering lights have been designed to help you relax. And another side note, even the elevators are chill. I mean, there's even a seat in here so you can relax between floors. Oh, ni hao. So I've just arrived on floor number three and this is a floor for massages. So yes, I know what you may be thinking. I haven't already just had a massage in the naked room? And the answer is yes, but that was a naked massage. This is a clothed massage and they're obviously very different. So they have a list here of like the different massages that you can do and the price list. I'm gonna go for this one here. It's a foot massage. It's 79 renminbi to add to my overall price and it goes for 40 minutes. I was led down this corridor full of massage rooms into this room filled with double bed sized massage pods and the coolest thing every bed has its own tv so i'm in the massage room it's basically this room with like 15 to 20 beds they feel much more bed shaped and um basically i have entered the next level of relaxation a level i never knew was possible because i'm currently getting a foot massage while watching pride and prejudice <laughs> so i just finished my massage feeling really good and uh, basically I can just hang out here for as long as I want I can have a sleep for however long I want I can watch another movie or two. Oh wow unexpected number three and four we have the breaking dawn part one and two interesting so I am back in the lobby here now time to see how much I owe <laughs> uh, so the final bill it has come to 427 renminbi and I've done some conversions here for foreign friends who may be watching this video so that is 91 Australian dollars 
54 euros and 58 American dollars. And I think when all is said and done, that's very, very reasonable. I mean, that includes the entrance ticket. It includes being scrubbed down for 30 minutes. It includes a further 30 minutes of being massaged naked with avocado smoothie, very strange, but also very nice. Uh, it includes the all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. It includes all those relaxation facilities, all those saunas inside, all of those showers and products and cleansers and balms that they provide for your skin and for your hair. It includes the further 30, 40 minutes actually of foot massage that I got on top of that and the movies that I watched as well. I mean, I'm a very, very happy lady. And uh, yeah, this has been a great experience. You know, I'm still new to the region. I've only been here in Dongbei for a year. So let me know what you think I should do here in winter, the upcoming winter that I'm very nervous about actually. It's gonna get so cold. Anyway, what would you like to see me do here in Dongbei during winter? Let me know in the comments below and see if I can film that while I'm here this year. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. As always, please don't forget to like and comment and please, please, please subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.